in there now. Now tell me what this guitar is one that you made? Yes. Okay. Made it the same as the uh, national guitar. Right. And when did you make it? Oh. Do you geez. think? About the 40s, 40 50s, 60s? Ago. In the yeah. 60s? Yeah. Oh, okay. When the Hawaiian music was written. Wow. Like so it might have been 50s, 60s, okay. or 60s. Yeah. All right. Okay. What does it got? Seven strings on it? Seven strings. Seven yeah. strings. Okay. Most of mine are seven strings. I Some see. Are eight strings, but I leave one out. Yeah. Seven. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to put this on pause, and we're going to grab another one here. All right. You want this hanging down? Oh, that's okay. Yeah. Th let me see that little headstock there. I can see the Dobro signature on it or logo. All right. So tell me about this one. Well, I bought this about, uh, oh, about 40 years ago. Okay. And uh, I play... Did you buy it brand new or was it used? I used it, bought it brand new. Bought it brand new. Brand new. Yeah. So it was uh, built sometime in the 60s, I guess. Yeah. If it was 40 years ago. All right. And I paid a hundred dollars for this one, and a hundred dollars for the case. Really? Uh -huh. Oh man! <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. Hmm. And you said you started playing in, on the bus, going to the football games, is when yeah. you first started playing guitar. Uh, in high school. In high school. Well, let's see. When did you graduate from high school? Do you remember what year? No. No. I have it in a drawer in there. I could yeah. <laughs> Well, let's see. You were born in 1912, right, Grandpa? Yeah, oh, I was born in 1912. Nin so he 1912, so yeah. let's see, you would be 17 or so when you graduated, so 1912, 22, about 1929. Maybe so. 1929, 1930, okay. Yep. Got it. Ukulele that Mary plays. Now, what, uh, that looks like it's a vintage. Yeah. That's from made by Martin. Martin. Okay, did you buy this did you buy this one brand new? Yeah. Okay. I see. He didn't play it, so mm -hmm. Mary Lou had it. Alright. In exchange for some bongo drums. Oh, okay. <laughs> it looks nice. They changed some Okay, what is this one called? This one says a magna, magna. magnatone. Mm -hmm. And who makes this? Who made it? National. National made uh -huh. this, okay. All right, and now that looks like it's from the, what, 50s, maybe? Oh, or? something in there. Yeah. Uh, that big one there, the amplifier is the same for this. Ah. Oh, I see. One. Oh, this, oh yeah, there's the matching amplifier called the magnatone amp. Uh -huh. All right. Nice. It's got quite a few knobs on it here. Yeah. <laughs> a Magnetone Custom M10, and that was matching. Okay, here we go. All right, let's see what we got here. This is a Rickenbacker, and so they say this is the first ever electric guitar. Well. It, it actually wasn't. There, there was one. They'd have to put mag magnets on the string to pick up the tone, you know. Uh -huh. So I had one, and his hands were just black from that stuff. Oh, really? But the first real ones they came out, real good ones, were these. Okay. They played over the re over the air. Yeah, and and Dick when Dick McIntyre used one like this till he passed away. Okay. Where did you uh, where did you get this at? The Rickenbacker, did you buy it brand new? Yeah, so I hope he took me, no, Dick McIntyre took me down and I got a discount. I got, the, he got me this one in the amplifier for a hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then so I hope he said. And you bought it in Los Angeles somewhere? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, I think the shop was over on Western and I told Saul Hopi about it. And he said, I could have got you a better discount. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that the way it always goes, yeah. huh? 
<laughs> okay. I got this thing just for advertising over the area, you know, playing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then here we got another ukulele. This also is a Martin. Also a Martin, yeah. Yeah, okay. So of, of all these here, I'm going to put this one over here. We can look at all four of them at the same time here. <laughs> which one Which one of these is your favorite to play? This one. The one that all you through, made by hand. Yeah, all through the years we use this one. Yeah. All my recordings almost for that one. Oh, really? For that one, yeah. Ah. Okay. So uh, how the heck did you... Did you make it yourself? What did you have? Well, then, did uh, you have plans? The guitar player he worked at a factory where they made uh, uh, they made pistons, for oh. cars. Do you remember the name of it? No, I don't. I don't remember. Okay. But uh, we they molded that. He had the mold and everything for that. Yeah. And then with lots of drilling and filing down. I got everything to fit. <laughs> I had to make a, a whole new keyboard here. Yeah. Filed and filed and filed. Gee. But it didn't come out quite right. Yeah. Well, it's a work of art, I tell you that. Just think of how many songs you've played on that thing over the years. Hundreds and hundreds. Yeah. Thousands, I think. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's wonderful, Mac. Yeah. Very and nice. Lots of fun. Sure. Lots of gigs. Lots of gigs, yeah. Mary Lou backing you up there on the uke. Yeah, we uh, <laughs> used to play uh, play for uh, some teachers. She used to teach away in music. Yeah. And she gives all these different shows and things. Okay. Uh, yeah. Laura. Laura was her name. I see. And so I had a lot of fun. Oh, that's wonderful. I played with another gal. Her name was Mickey. Yeah. And she had a lot of students, you know. We, okay. We did, we danced a lot of music. Yeah. So we played for shows for them and so forth. All right. Uh, well, Mac, it's really been fun playing with you today here on, what is it, June 19th, 2004? Well, I guess it is. <laughs> yeah, so. Father's Day. Father's Day, exactly. And here comes this, here comes this little guy. Kyle. What you got in your mouth? Uh-huh. <laughs>